What is good YouTube, it is James coming back at you guys with another video. And today I'm gonna to be talking about is sneaker beef real? Now I know there's people out there, I even know there's sneaker heads out there that kind of take their collection a little more personal. What I mean by that is they look at it as a competition. Here I am, I have all these Yeezys, but I don't look at it as like I have Yeezys, you don't. A lot of people think I do and that's not the way I think. So basically what I'm getting at is simple. Just because you have a lot of shoes doesn't make you the king of sneakers, the king of this, the king of that. Before I get lost in what I'm trying to say, let me let me go, let me show you my side of it. I do have a very large sneaker collection and I am blessed to have that. But I don't look at it as like, oh my god, I'm running the entire state of New Hampshire and oh, I have one of the best tables at all these Boston, New England sneaker events. Oh, I get to travel to all these sneaker cons, oh, blah, blah, blah. I have it going for me right now. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm blessed. I am in a situation in my life where I am living life to the fullest out of high school, not worrying about college right now and focusing on my sneakers. Basically what I'm trying to say is the, the sneaker community needs to become more one. We can't be arguing, fighting over shoes, Everyone has to share with each other their sneaker knowledge, their sneakers in general. Don't don't hate on someone just because they have shoes. Don't hate on someone just because they don't have shoes, especially if they don't have shoes. I've seen some comments in my videos saying that these kids are getting bullied because they don't have shoes, and that is not right. That is not right. And like I said in the video a while ago, to be a sneakerhead doesn't mean you need all these shoes. It just means you need to love the shoes be involved in sneakers, know about sneakers. If you can have a conversation with someone in public about the shoes on their feet, you're a sneakerhead. And yeah, the, I read a couple comments, it's not just one person, there's about 10 to 20 of you guys that have said you got bullied for not having shoes. And that pissed me off, man. Like, I, I can't even imagine that. I really hope you guys win the giveaway, the ones that commented that I really do. But like I said, it's a random giveaway, it's for anyone. You'll see it live once we hit 1,000 subscribers. My sneaker community where I live right now, we are doing really well. We don't have any sneaker beef. There's no one fighting with each other. There was a kid that got mad at me a while ago because on a, one of our New Hampshire uh, Facebook groups, he posted a pair of fake shoes. So I direct messaged him, not publicly, and I told him like, hey man, these are fake. And I showed him my pair so he understood. And he whiplashed at me. He's like, who are you? Who do you think you are? and all this stuff and he, he was trying, he was being a big, but besides that one kid, it's a very good community right now for sneakers in New England. I'm loving where we're going. I'm especially happy for Jonathan, his Boston Got Soul events. They keep getting better and this one in July is gonna be crazy. I have chosen not to attend SneakerCon Los Angeles just to go to this Boston Got Soul event because it's better for me and better for my brand right now. Which I have some news about Boston Got Soul in July, but I'll tell you that around June, so we're a couple weeks away before I tell you about that. Another thing is I have people hit me up all the time. Can you get me Yeezys? Can you get me Yeezys? Can you get me this shoe? And the answer is yes. I personally can get that shoe for you, but they're expecting me to get it for cheaper than what people are selling it for. Like you could easily go get it yourself the same way I get it. I just have connections for releases and having that Soul Steals account with Soul Supremacy is very clutch for my sneaker collection. Yeah, I've had people all winter hitting me up, hey, can you give me the new Yeezys, give me the new Yeezys. It's like, yeah, but you gotta pay the price of the Yeezy. I'm not gonna just get it to you for retail, that is crazy. But like I said, I'm happy right now. I don't have any sneaker beef with anyone. All my boys are good. Everyone I know I deal with, we're doing great. My eBay's popping. If you wanna check out some shoes I'm selling, ebay.com slash jabes23. If you wanna see the shoes I have up for sale, there might not be any up between May 23rd and May 27th because that's when I'll be in London for SneakerCon and first time going to Europe, so I'm pretty excited for that. And just so you guys all remember again, the Yeezy giveaway, I'm doing an Instagram live stream, so make sure you go follow my Instagram, OVO underscore Jabe. And honestly, after this video is up, the next video that should be going up is going to be my Jabe's Q&A video, so I'm excited to bring you guys that. You guys asked some amazing questions, and I'll make sure your, your comments are gonna be in the video. Don't worry, you will see your own personal comment to me in the Q&A. So instead of bringing sneaker hate, make it sneaker love. Talk to a friend in school about shoes. Ask a friend in school about shoes. It's not a competition. Everybody can get their own shoes. 
everybody can love shoes and everyone can be a sneakerhead if they want to be. And just so we're on the same page, even if you're a hype beast, you are a sneakerhead, okay? There seems to be a sneakerhead hype beast trend going on where hype beasts are, oh, I hate hype beasts. A hype beast is a sneakerhead. They enjoy shoes just as much as a normal sneakerhead. They just look at it as a more luxury status. I'm a hype beast too. I'm actually gonna make a video on what the meaning of a hype beast is to me in a couple weeks. I have it planned in my schedule. And I just wanna keep saying how awesome you guys are. Like, we are growing so fast daily. We're gonna, we're gonna be at a thousand in two months maybe, maybe even less. I know I'm not the fastest growing channel on YouTube, but it feel, every time I check my analytics, it's, it's higher and higher, and that's all because of you guys, your likes, your shares, your comments. It makes my video get out into the public, out into the YouTube search bars, out into the trending page, so please keep that up. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Remember, share the love for sneakers. It's not a competition. Everyone can be a sneakerhead if they want. This is James signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.